Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are the Alpha Retta High School and your morning show starts right now. find our way back home. What's up, Alpharetta? I'm Vaishu, and let's get started. Students, homecoming court nominations start next Monday, September 24th. Start thinking about who you want to nominate in your grade. Nominations will be cast online this year. What's up, Alpharetta? I'm Vicki Germano, and let's get started. The Alpharetta fencing team competed at home this past Saturday, hosting the first tournament of the season. In the women's event, Ashley Day placed 15th out of 38, earning season points. In the men's event, which had 72 participants, four rookie fencers made it past the initial placement rounds, including Luke Marks, Jacob Joseph, Josh Bomer, and Rahul Gudapati. Congrats to our new fencers. For top finishers, Derek Wang finished in 10th place, Cole Tinsley finished in 8th place, and Arthur Yu finished in 1st place. All three fencers earned points. Great start to the new season and good job to everyone who participated. Have you ever wondered about the history of Alpharetta? Hi, my name is Joshua Westman and this is The Scoop. To find out more about the town's history, I went to Alpharetta's History Museum located at City Hall. There I met up with Connie Mashburn, a prominent member of the Alpharetta and Old Milton County Historical Society. What year was the town founded? in? It was founded in uh, 1858 and it was founded to become a county seat in a brand new county. What were the early days of Alpharetta like? Well, there was a lot of hustle and bustle. Uh, the city needed to have a new county uh, courthouse. Uh, there needed to be a jail. Uh, there needed to be uh, road equipment. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot, of go a lot going on. A lot of carpenters here, a lot of ditchers, uh, and a lot of blacksmith. And were there any significant events that occurred in Alpharetta? Well, there were a number of them. I guess the first one, uh, just three years after the county was, was founded, the Civil War started. There were three companies of Confederate soldiers that were created here. And of course, after the Civil War, uh, there was complete devastation in the city. General Sherman's troops, as they came down from Chattanooga, uh, went out to all the farms around, took the livestock, took the food, and, and that sort of thing. Alpharetta has endured several hardships in its history, from Sherman's March to the Sea, the Bull Weevil Infestation, and the Great Depression, where Milton County had to merge with Fulton County in 1932. But Alpharetta still stands stronger than ever, and growing ever more. This was Joshua Westman with The Morning Show. Chem Club will be having its first meeting this Thursday, September 17th. We will be going over some general information as well as our plans for this year. Donuts will be served. Hope to see you there. Good morning, Alfreda. I'm Jazzy Harrell. If you have a passion for singing, then Chorus is the elective for you. Chorus is an open class that encourages the students to make mistakes in order to help them grow and improve their singing techniques over time. I spoke to members Lauren Lovett and Sebastian Murphy about their time in the class. Why did you decide to join Chorus? Okay, well, I've been singing for most of my life. I just always love singing, and being in chorus is just a way to do that. I thought it'd be a good environment, and I'd be able to improve on my singing and just stay with the music program overall at school. What do you hope to get out of it? I hope to learn how to sight read better and just become a better singer. Um, just overall improvement in my musical abilities overall. How do you bond with your classmates? Um, there was a uh, kind of class trip that we had, it was GLSEN, and uh, over that week we did a lot of teamwork, um, just uh, not teamwork, but uh, team building activities. What do you think of Miss Austin as a teacher? Okay, Miss Austin is the best teacher. She really helps us like 
improve our skills and she's always saying, you know, it's not about perfection, it's about improvement. This class is filled with people who enjoy each other's presence while being engaged in the music. My name is Jazia Harrell with The Morning Show. Don't forget to turn in your basketball cheer packet by Wednesday, September 19th. You must have all three forms submitted in order to try out. Tryouts will be held in the cafeteria Monday through Wednesday, September 24th through 26th, from 3.35 to 5.30. Tell them right away, now what's the matter, buddy? Ain't you heard of my school? It's number one in the state. Raiders, it's happening again. We are filming our own AHS Lift Up video on Friday, October 12th in place of the Fall Pep Rally. If you want to be one of the stars and lip sync during this video, please contact Ms. DeCaminata or Mr. Meisner by this Friday, September 21st. Let's make this the best Lip Up video you've ever seen. There will be an FBLA meeting in the auditorium. We will be discussing award opportunities like the Business Achievement Awards and Community Service Awards. As always, donuts will be served and we hope to see you there. Hola! Spanish Club will be having the first meeting of the school year on Thursday, September 20th. Remember to bring $10 for the registration fee and everyone is welcome. We cannot wait and hope to see you there. Get your reflections on. Lots of great prizes and scholarship money to be won. Pick up a packet in the Media Center today. The theme is Heroes Around Me. So anchor time off campus privileges um, were something that Alfred High School got permission for several years ago. We're the only school in the area who actually uh, has this option for our seniors. Who's on track to graduation and um, doing all the right things. So it will allow them on anchor time days only, Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, between both lunches to have about 45 minutes extra for lunch to go off campus. Seniors who have the privilege should be prepared to show us their student ID with the fall anchor time sticker that looks like this. Students who normally have off-campus classes on a daily basis should continue to show their lanyards and or have their class schedules ready as well. Recognize that some students may not want to leave or be able to leave on any given day so we do have a drop-in room. It's room 2314 with Miss Hubbard and stay through anchor time there. Don't give your ID or your sticker to a friend. That'll get it, that'll cause you to lose it. And make sure that you're not trying to escort your fellow students who haven't earned the privilege because that could end up costing you both your anchor time privilege as well, potentially your parking pass. Make sure you're well aware of all of the requirements we have on our anchor time webpage and all the guidelines for seniors. If you're interested in playing women's soccer this year, please attend the meeting after school on September 27th in Coach Turner's room, 3213. This meeting is for new and returning players. Turner down for what? Astronomy Club will be holding their first meeting Monday, September 24th at 7.45 a.m. in the room 2310. Donuts will be served. The National Chinese Honor Society is hosting the Mid-Autumn Festival Party in Ms. Zhang's room, room 4219, on Friday, September 21st, directly after school. Bring your friends and we will celebrate one of the most important Chinese holidays together. Hope to see everyone there. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.